think we ask you this every preseason, but what, what do you want to get out of the preseason? Winning's not necessarily the most important thing in the preseason, is it? Uh, no, not necessarily. Uh, it depends on which game you're talking about. You know, I think tomorrow, uh, the first week of exhibition games, preseason games, getting, letting everybody get some run, you know, and then uh, next week when we play Utah and Denver, that would be a little different. But tomorrow, hopefully, uh, everybody gets in the game. Haifa, I would expect um, some of the some of the younger guys get a chance to play more and then kind of ramp up the minutes against Phoenix. The guys that weren't able to play at FanFest, are any of them going to potentially be able to play uh, tomorrow? Uh, I don't have an update, but hopefully both Hassan and, and Zach will be able to play. Uh, they both practice today. And how much do you use the preseason to kind of maybe outside of the hype game to experiment with different combinations and to see wow. how different guys I think uh, this week, uh, these three games, you'll see a lot of different combinations. Um, I don't really have a, I'm really not looking at combinations this week. It's more about, you know, getting my, getting the rotation so the rotation kind of makes sense so that guys can play. I wouldn't read too much into the rotation tomorrow. Or the next game, probably. Yeah. <laughs> In a game against Denver, you come off a, a tremendously competitive series with them last year. Um, obviously this year is probably going to be the same way. Is it hard for players or the coaches to let go of that competitive thing, that edge, in the preseason, Terry? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. Uh, certainly certainly it's there. It didn't go away. Um, they might be uh, a little bit more bitter about it and uh, sticks in their uh, Six and they're getting a little bit more, but um, I don't know. I think both teams will probably approach this first game with getting a lot of guys different minutes and not playing their main guys very many minutes. So I, I mean, games can get competitive, but I don't know for tomorrow's game if there will be much of a carryover. Is there anything you kind of limit in terms of the strategies or, or things you want to test out, knowing that you're going to play them in the home opener as well? Yeah. I, honestly, I would expect neither team to try and show too much in either preseason game. Um, and, you know, as far as defensive schemes and things like that, I think uh, I would expect both teams to kind of keep it pretty vanilla. What have been your impressions of Scal so far in camp? Uh, he's having a really good camp. He's, uh, he had a really good practice today. Um, it's, as I've mentioned before, is, is, uh, is disappointing that he wasn't able to uh, do much in June, not playing summer league, because that would have been a really good opportunity for him. But he's had um, he's had a really good September and a really good uh, week of camp. I know you say that uh, it's interchangeable between four and five, but have you been working him out more at four or five? Or depends on who's on the court with him. You know, it's uh, because uh, Hassan has been out, Zach has been out. He's probably played more five this week, but. Uh, you know, playing, I think he can play four, but this week it's been mostly five because of injuries. Can you maybe kind of evaluate like how he's improved since when you first got him here in the trade? Um, I, well, I think it's, I think that's a little difficult to say because when he came in, you know, we weren't practicing a lot, you know, he didn't get much of an opportunity to play. So, uh, so I really can't say how he's improved, but he's shooting the ball well. He's uh, he's making plays in the paint on both ends of the court. Uh, I think he's very much more, just the same as Rodney, he's much more comfortable with our system and what we want to do. Uh, I think just the experience he gained just being with the team last year has helped him with, with uh, the transition this year. How is Mario look, you know, at the point forward position, and how is that going to be a weapon for you this season? Uh, you know, Mario is, uh, that's going to, uh, that's going to evolve. You know, I think again with the injuries this year, he's been uh, this week. Uh, he's been playing more four and kind of filling in. Um, I think that you'll see that it comes natural. And it's, as I've said before, it's probably more in the flow of a game rather than running plays. We haven't really put in a lot of plays where he is initiating the offense. Although there are a few that he could. And then defensively, I mean, he was talking to us even a few minutes ago about being able to guard multiple positions. That's going to be probably good for you. Right? It is, you know, when teams talk about going small or spreading the court or whatever, it's more about how you defend that lineup rather than, than scoring. You know, if we're able to play, let's just say Zach Collins at four, or Scal or, or whoever at four and still defend the perimeter, 
then that then that's a good lineup for us. Same thing, uh, vice versa. If if Mario's at at four and he has to guard a bigger bigger player, how can we defend that position? So, really, matchup. It's more about your defensive matchups than what you can do offensively. What positions do you think? I mean, how many can he guard? Do you think? Well, to be to be determined, I guess. But you know, I would expect if. Uh, we'd be doing a lot of switching, so he'd be expected to guard uh, a variety of perimeter players for sure. He's a pretty intense guy, isn't he? Were you at practice today? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like it though. No, he's you know he's he's a competitive guy. Uh, he's uh, he loves being on the court. Um, he's um, uh, you know whatever whoever wrote the article about him turning into a devil. I mean, he's. He's very competitive when he's on the floor, and um, that's just that's in his nature. Is there something particular happened today that you can share with us? Or been, yeah, he's just he's just he got frustrated. Yeah, oh, okay. there you go. <laughs> but you like to see that fire, right? Oh yeah, yeah. No, he cares. He cares. He wants to play well. He plays hard.